Good morning, Mavericks. Today is Thursday, March 17th, and it is a B day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's a great day to be a Bradley Maverick. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. I'm Connor. And I'm Izzy. And these are today's announcements. The winner of the yearbook will be announced tomorrow. Exciting. Only one more day left in the book fair. Make sure you can get down to the media center and grab something good like, tell me everything. Or strays like us. Last night, the Mavericks competed at Coolwood. Let's take a look at sports. Great effort by all of our Mavericks. Tonight is our track team's first meet at James Martin Middle. Good luck. Today is St. Patrick's Day. It is. Happy birthday, Leprechauns. I don't think that's what it's about. Really? Maybe we should watch a video. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. St. Patrick's Day. The day we all pretend to be Irish down a few Guinness. But who was this St. Patrick guy anyway? Here's a brief history of St. Patrick's Day. Well, first of all, St. Patrick wasn't even Irish. What the? Born in Britain in the late 4th century, Mywin Sukkot was captured and enslaved by Irish raiders. After years of forced labor, he escaped to Britain, where he joined the Catholic Church, changed his name to Patricius or Patrick. Years later, he returned to Ireland as a Christian missionary, devoting nearly 30 years to converting the Irish. Now, legend has it that Patrick drove all the snakes out of Ireland, but to tell you the truth, there never were snakes on the island. When he finally died, Patrick became the patron saint of Ireland, despite his British heritage. It all began in 1903, when St. Patrick's Day, also known as Feast Day, became a national holiday in Ireland, celebrated on March 17th, the day of St. Patrick's death. Festivities usually just amounted to attending church and gathering for feasts. In fact, drinking was actually banned in Ireland on St. Patrick's Day up until the 1970s. Irish immigrants brought the tradition to America in the early 1700s, where it evolved into a secular holiday, often centered around drinking and celebrating all things Irish. The first ever St. Patrick's Day Parade was held in Boston in 1737. And today, there are over 100 St. Patrick's Day Parades across the U.S. In Chicago, they use 40 pounds of green dye to turn the river even greener each year. And New York City's annual parade is the largest in the world, with an estimated 2 million spectators. With over 34 million Americans claiming Irish ancestry, even more claiming to be Irish when they're not, it's no surprise this holiday has become one of the largest in the country. And now, it is time for the Thinking Thursday Puzzle. That's it for the announcements. Stay tuned for the birthdays in the SEL prompt. Why are you... 